Hello and welcome to AAT, that stands for Alex, that's me, attempts tabletop, just picture me pointing at my face and tapping a table. So um, we're doing an audiobook review this week, it's one of the Horace Heresy ones, it's Dark Compliance by John French. Um, I've only listened to two audio books so far, Echoes of Revelation and now Dark Compliance. Um, so far, I think this has been my favourite, it really gave a great insight into Horace as a character and how brutal in warfare and evil he can be because it shows just brutality of him wanting to get to terror and kicking the emperor's butt. But anyway, before we start, I won't go into too much detail and rant on for ages because I want you to actually check out and listen yourself. But I'll read the back of the CD. Apologies for pronouncing names wrong. I'm not very good. That reading out aloud. So here we go. As Horace Rebellion gains momentum, more and more worlds flock to his banner. For some, it is through fear of annihilation. For others, it is out of malice desire. Any that consider resistance are given one chance to swear fealty. To anything other is to count disaster and worse. A casa beta is one such to fire. But in bringing this heavy fortified mechanical world to heal, just how far is the war master willing to go and what truly is the meaning of dark compliance? As two fleets engage across the gulf of the void, Akaza Belter will find out. So it kind of sets the thing. I probably killed the Mechanicum guy's name, but oh well. So essentially, it kind of starts the story of um, Horus trying to invade another world. And he sends down an envoy to speak to the world's peoples and kind of explain, like, join us or completely die. And they're like, why should we die? And they're like, dark compliance. And they're like, what's that? And then the, the audiobook goes to, back to the mechanical world and explains the story of what happens if you kind of defy the dark compliance. I won't go into detail, but it's some... Um, it's chaos related, let's just say that, and it's pretty interesting and brutal. But it really gave me a cool insight, because the voice acting is really good in these. Um, the people who did the voices for the Mechanicum characters was really good. Like So now when I look at the models, or read about them, or look at artwork, I, I kind of get an idea now what they sound like. Because Mechanicum, quite a lot of the guys, they're not really human now. They're more machine than man, let's say. But there's, like... Just this kind of I'm trying to think of a word where there's like there's no emotion. It's like there's a human behind it, but it's now a machine, and the effects of how they got the like machine voice is really cool. So essentially, a picture of me with a microwave on my head, and that going on, and that would kind of sum up the voice of the Mechanicum really badly. But it was really cool, really interesting. There's like uh, engagement in the space that was really cool. Like they went to great detail of the space battle, that was really neat. I'm enjoying space battles at the mix. I'm reading um, the Battle of the Abyss, one of the Heresy books, and that's um, then trying to destroy the battleship. And it's a lot of space fights and that. It's really cool. If you like, if you like space battles and stuff, this is a good one. If you just want to know a bit more about the War Master and his schemes. I recommend this one if you're interested in Mechanicum. I recommend it if you're interested in the Heresy. It's really cool because the great thing of these CDs, audiobooks, like because they're all over the place, you can just pick them up and it fills in little gaps in between books. It just gives you ideas. It's just a bit of law and insight, really. And if you just want something to chill to for an hour, 70 minutes, then these things are great. They're only like. How much are they? I'll quickly have a look. Twelve pounds. Like I only buy the ones what I like the look of when they're releasing new ones. So they're pretty neat. So yeah, I would if I would have to rate it out of ten because I think that's how I rated the last one out of ten because I don't like rating out of five. I would probably give this one like an eight. It's pretty strong. I really enjoyed it. I just really caught the Horace really well as a character. The actor's voice as well. Like this really kind of menacing tone, but not menacing, like he's really calm. But you know you get those types of people who are really calm, and when they're annoyed they don't have to really do much to show that they're angry because they're always so calm. 
it was really like chilling at moments. So I definitely recommend it. If not, check out some of the Heresy audiobooks at some point. So that all said, hopefully you enjoyed that. That's my short little review for you guys. I only do them like every few months when I've read something or listened to an audiobook. So hopefully you enjoy that. Something a bit different for your Sunday. Thank you for watching AAT. That stands for Alex. That's my attempts tabletop. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave feedback, suggest me some audiobooks, ask me more questions if you want. I don't mind. Keep it easy, everyone, and goodbye.